that cold. <laughs> welcome back to the Lou and Chan channel. I'm Lucy. And I'm Chandler. And welcome back to our Autumn in New York series where we are challenging ourselves to a 30 day fall bucket list. Trying to become fall people y'all. Today's a very special day because we are trying to find the best pumpkin spice latte in all of Manhattan. And where are we searching? The Upper West Side. Luckily we, we already, we already like pumpkin spice lattes. We're not like yeah. so fall, so fall removed. Yeah, so wow. fall removed. We know that's a good, that's good a good pun. play on words. We're looking for pumpkin. We're looking for multiple flavors. We're looking for spice heavy. We're I think looking we're looking for the for... perfect amount of sweetness. Uh huh. So we are going to three locations, ordering pumpkin spice lattes from each of them. All right, let's go. It's oh, it's closed. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, we have to reroute. We know we already love this place. Only been once, but we're coming in hot with our first contender. Oh, my friend's working. Black press was closed. Change of plans. That's okay. We are going to go to Blank Street instead. Yes, we do have a backup. We didn't <laughs> until we walked by it. Alrighty, we got the goods. We did. Which one should we try first, Lucy? Think, uh, should we go in order of where we got them? Yeah, that sounds good. We're gonna start with- Solid state. Solid state, y'all. A little lukewarm at this point. Yeah, it's cold, but- But that's good. The pumpkin is perfectly there. You can still taste the espresso. It's not too sweet. It's like the perfect- No, definitely not too sweet. Perfect amount of sweetness. The after that's really good. The aftertaste of the spices is really strong, which I kind of like, like the cloves. Okay, next, Blank Street. That's terrible. Tastes like a candle. I'll put that back. That's, wait, let me try that again. Which is weird, because their coffee's usually pretty good. We've only really gotten their iced coffee, though. Tastes like a, like fall products. Probably the closest thing to Starbucks, though. That's what you enjoy. <laughs> that was so savage. It's just saying. Okay, last one. Okay, after that one, I'm like, did they forget the pumpkin? No, that's in there. Kind of tastes like Super light. chai. Like, it tastes like there's chai in it. It's good, though. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I think I like it. What you can go right ahead. Definitely not too sweet. Okay, um, this would be the winner. Clear winner. Solid so, state. Solid state. Definitely check it out. Friend works there. He actually was the one who came up with the recipe, and this is not it's rigged. Not biased. This it's is not biased. biased or rigged, but he like in his home came up with their pumpkin spice latte recipe. Maman. Second. I think it's better to be less sweet than too sweet, and then cookie. Cookie comes in third, and Blake Street ten. comes in tenth place. Yeah. Don't do that. Yes. Don't do yourself dirty. Okay. You heard it here first. Solid, Solid state. state. They have the best pumpkin spice latte. On 71st and Columbus. Hey you, thanks for watching our video. If you don't mind giving it a like if you're enjoying what you're watching and enjoy the rest of the video. She got a rain coat on. You know what that means. It means it's raining. It means it's raining. It means it's raining. It means it's raining. It means it's raining outside. You guys, we're going to the farmer's market. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have we have only walked through this one and maybe like snagged something like a few years ago. A few years ago, yeah. But we've never just intentionally gone to go to get some stuff. We're gonna make a list. Well, we want to make a chili in this video, so. What what kind of meat should we get for that? I don't like know. Ground Do what? Do you want like bison? bison? Okay, I really want to get some bacon. Ooh. Because I feel like farmer's market thick cut bacon would be so elite. Oh, I just said like we should get like a fish. I, I'm thinking a treat. A treat? I yeah. was gonna say a treat too. I feel like you gotta go get a treat. You gotta get like, I'm thinking a gluten-free pumpkin bread. Look how we're talking right now. 
Look how fall we've, we've become. become. We just like need limes, like a squash of some sort. And if they have some like fall fruits too, greens. Okay, oh, and you know what we do want to get? What? Like a habanero jam. Oh yes, some jam. When did they close? Four. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> Here, Lou. Uh, still holding out for some fish. I'm excited about the bacon we got, and oyster mushrooms are elite. Yeah, hot strawberry. Found what we needed. Okay, that's it. Got a little fall haul for you. Got a little fall haul. What are those, Lucy? We got some rainbow radishes nice. and a pink radish. Mm. I love radishes. I think you feel neutral about them. I feel neutral, but I don't feel neutral about this next veg. Baby, Baby bok, bok choy. choy. It's so good. I'm Baby Bok Choy. We got our meats. I'm very, very excited for one of these things. Not all three? Sorry. Okay, look at that thick cut bacon. That's only like four slices. Not just one. We got two. And uh, they didn't have bison. But that's okay, because they had pork, which I feel like pork will be really good. Yeah. Got some oyster mushrooms. Can you see that? Ooh. We already talked about our spicy jam we got. We were almost out of luck for a treat, but then we found this cute little place. They're vegan and gluten free, but they're like so thick. They're a quarter pound. Looks so good. What are we gonna taste best first? Chocolate chip. Cheers. Clink. That's so good. Mm. The that was really good. The texture is really impressive. Yeah, I'm really surprised this is gluten free. I'm surprised it's vegan. There's no eggs in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's why I'm the most surprised. Out of 10, though, I would call this like mm. a nine. I'd say a nine as well. Pumpkin. Oh, there's like filling in Pumpkin it. Pumpkin spice. You see that? Uh huh. Mmm. It's so soft. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa, that's really good. Oh my gosh. We will tag this woman's company below because this is so, wow. this is so good. Oh, 10 out of 10. This one was an eight out of 10 for me. Okay, mm. Couldn't, I'm happy, I'm so happy. Okay. Okay, bye. We are back in the kitchen. Lucy and I just got back from the gym. Gonna get started on this. Our friend comes in like an hour. The recipe says it takes about two hours, but I think it just wants it to like simmer for a long time. So I feel like it'll taste just as good eating it like in an hour, hour 20. I'm gonna get started on that. Lucy's gonna make some cornbread, but uh, I'm gonna get started chopping the veggies. Got the chili in the pot. It's honestly the perfect day for chili, I feel like. Don't you think? I agree. It's so like misty and foggy outside. Like you really just don't want to be outside. So just a nice bowl of chili on this gloomy day. I approve. Hello, bonjour. It is time to make the really complicated. Oh, Chan, you got one not gluten free. That's kind of funny. We have one of each. Today, we will be making box gluten-free cornbread from a box that is cornbread. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Brown. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. It does look good. So our guest is running a little late, but that's fine because the chili needed to be cooked. I took a little shower and I just added some more seasoning to it because I think it was tasting a little flat weak. Which I, I'm so surprised. We've made chili before and it's always been good. Yeah, I just used a new recipe and I just, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't recommend this recipe. Find a different one. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's... Maybe I'll try to find the one that I've used before and link it down below. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, Lucy, first bite. It's so hot, I'm nervous to... <laughs> Chan, it's so good. What kind of meat is it? It's a... Uh... So it's ground beef and ground pork. We got pork from the oh. farmer's market. <laughs> oh, good. good, good. I would say chili was a success. You guys, what a week. This was a good week, I liked this week. That farmer's market was for sure my highlight, but I just wish we had unlimited funds to go to the farmer's market and do that every <laughs> single time, but that was so good, such a treat. Pumpkin spice lattes. I do think we found probably... Probably the best in all of the world. Okay, cool, let's do some percentages here. Lucy, how full have you become through our PSL challenge. Probably like a good 3%. 1% for each latte that we tried. I'm down, 3%. What about from the farmer's market? I love farmer's market. Me too, 5%. 5%, eh, 8%. I'll raise ya. It was fun. Hey, eight it is. Well, if you don't want it to be eight, this is where you can rebuttal. That was my toast. And chili. Mm. Felt like a cozy fall meal. I liked it. I'd say three, two. Three, yeah. Three. So three, three, and eight. So let's see who can do the math faster. It's 14, right? 14. Phew. I did it quicker than you, you little crazy girl. 14%, <laughs> woo! That's a lot, we're close. We are getting really close. To really fully pop? 100%, oh baby. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, it means a lot to us, and we will see you in the next one.